Hi, my name is Faber. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna start off this vlog doing Vela Box and uh, let us the Lauren B. Beauty Curators Club um, nail polish subscription box. Uh, but I wanted to tell you if you are here just for the regular vlog, the timestamp is just below this video, just below it. You will see this the description box if you are on a computer. If you are on a device, there'll be a tiny little triangle. You'll need to click that triangle and the, the description box will open up for you. Anything and everything I talk about in this video will always be listed there. Shoppable links for you, clickable links where you can go straight in to whatever I'm talking about if it holds an interest for you. Um, and then uh, also the timestamps are completely clickable. So they're labeled and clickable and you just click whatever you wanna go off and see. So we'll start off. Uh, with Velabox and Lauren B. Beauty, and I will link to both of those and uh, hop on into the vlog. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in just a second. Let's get into Velabox. Okay, you guys know the code FAVOR gets you $5 off your first box with Velabox. You guys know I love my Velabox, you know I do. I mean, there's no question how much I love the candles, I love this box. So there are three subscription boxes that you can choose from. There is the Lucerna, which is one four ounce candle. It's $10 a month plus $3 shipping, and it has about a 25 hour burn time. There is the Ignis box, which is one eight ounce, is it eight ounce? Yeah, eight ounce candle. And uh, you get about 50 hours of burn time, and it is $20 plus $3 shipping. And then there is this one, which is the Vivere box, which is an eight ounce and a four ounce, and this is $30 a month. It's free shipping and there's a little surprise in the box each month. Just a little something something. Last month was a chapstick, which I actually really like. There's always a beautiful little phrase here in the top, the world needs what you got. That's sweet. You guys know I love these. Um, we get some in Cosbox too. I just, I really like that kind of thing. Now your candles will come in these little bags inside the box and they do come in an outer carton just for ease of shipping. You can recycle everything. This is their new kind of brown packaging for the last couple of months. So here we go. Oh, it says you're striking. All right, so in here, here's the eight ounce, here's the four ounce, and then we have a little bag here. Is this a produce bag? Let's see, this is our little bonus this month. Produce bag, yes. Um, so they'll feature a candle maker, a craft company, a artisan every single month, and your candles will come from that particular art artisan. You can go to Velvet, Vel Velvet, Vela Box, website and order from the website. If you fall in love, want more, want to give us a gift, that's fine. You can go right to Velabox. You can also go to the manufacturers, to the artisan themselves, and all the information will be on this little card. Oh, that's pretty yummy. That's tasty looking. Okay, so this month um, is Luster and Bloom, and they are located in Denver, Colorado. They are an Etsy, Etsy shop, and um, you can save 15%. So if you purchase the box, you get it 15% off at their shops. And uh, the scoop, this is the scoop. Mandy of Luster and Bloom began making candles as a hobby. While her little one slept with a new baby in the house, she wanted to ensure she was burning the safest, cleanest candles possible. No better way than to make them herself using 100% non-toxic ingredients. Quickly finding candle making to be her passion, Mandy turned a hobby into a business and has been selling her beautiful, clean burning candles ever since. Okay, this is the bonus gift, and this is Ditch the Plastic and Reusable Bags. It's the more sustainable way to grocery shop, perfect for fruits, veggies, grains, and more, and stylish enough to keep out on your kitchen, out in your kitchen. Okay, and then if you flip it over, that's what that is. That's just different ways that they're using it. They're using it for grains, for breads, cookies, nuts, things like that. So there we go, absolutely. It's a nice, fine mesh. And of course it's washable. We've gotten produce bags and a couple of subscription boxes. Um, I have actually passed them on to my daughter-in-law because I mostly buy frozen vegetables. Um, with the diet that I'm on, with the diet I have to follow, I have to be careful with what I eat. But I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this one because I like that they're putting nuts and all sorts of stuff in there. So there we go, perfect, okay? Especially when you're storing like non bread and stuff like that, that's keto, it gets kind of moist in the refrigerator. Nobody wants that. All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, small one. This is Peony Bouquet. Look, at, I just love the styling of the candles. It's so pretty. Usually these smaller ones I'll either put on my desk or I'll put in my bathroom. Uh, this is Magnolia, Violet, Water Lily, Peony, and Freesia. 
I know I'm gonna love this. Hand poured in Denver, Luster and Bloom. So this is possibly the most gorgeous floral scent of all. We're picturing butterfly gardens and fields of flowers as far as the eye can see. Oh yes. I love the smell of these candles. I mean, they always send very neutral smelling candles, nothing that is too extreme. So it's a common scent that most people are gonna love. Um, and they're not too feminine, they're never too masculine. They're really for both. This is a great gift to give to a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. Everybody loves candles. This is very nice. I definitely smell the freesia and the magnolia or lily. Mm. You're gonna smell something different. We all pick up uh, olfactor, is that what it is in your nose? We all pick up different scents. So just because it smells like one thing to me doesn't mean it's gonna smell exactly the same to you. That's what I'm saying. It's just a pleasant, nice floral scent, but not overly floral. And as I've said before, none of these have ever given anyone in my family the sneezes or itchiness or irritation in their throat, and my family's allergic to everything. Oh, that's lovely. I really like that. Okay, this next one, I know I'm gonna love this. You guys know I love citrus scents. So this one is Notes of Grapefruit, Mandarin, and Lemon. What is the name of this one? This one is Sugared Citrus. Uh, this sweet summery scent is sure to make your day a little brighter. Best enjoyed while cooling down inside after a long day in the sun with a refreshing beverage in hand and feet propped up. Oh dear me, oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is heaven. I smell the citrus, smell the grapefruit, I smell the lemon, I smell it all. You pick it all up. I can pick every single scent note up. Oh, I love this. Okay, so uh, we're definitely going to light this one. I'm gonna put this right over here. Look, the throw on these is really, really nice. I have to tell you, it's not overwhelming. It's enough, but it's not overwhelming. Um, if you've ever diffused a scent in your room and you pick up that soft scent where you smell it, but it's not coying, it doesn't give you a headache, look, there's a time and a place for a bed, bath, and be, I mean, not bed, bath, and what's it? Bath and Body Works candle. There is a time and a place for that. You know, you're gonna have a house full of people, fine. But if it's just you or you're having company, just a small few people over as we're only allowed to do right now and we're social distancing, this is perfect. Oh, we're like this right now. You have to give a candle a few minutes to burn the initial wick and kind of get it started, let it get started um, to fill the room with its lovely fragrance. So I'm gonna love that. Um, that is one, there's been a couple that I've really wanted to buy backups of and I've saved the empty containers so that I knew exactly which ones to get because definitely buying backups, I believe that's gonna be one. Um, I get, I've had grapefruit candles in the past. I just, I love them. This is really nice. I can't wait to burn this in the bathroom. So this weekend we had grandma here with us, Rob's mom here with us and um, I don't think that would irritate her. Okay, so Bella Box, the code favor, will get you $5 off your first box. Give it as a gift and give one to yourself too. I promise you will not be disappointed. I love this Bella Box. Okay, so this is the Curators Club I showed you last month from the uh, Lauren B. Beauty. We got, I ordered the first subscription box and it was $8.95 for the first box. This is my second one. And I did open it. I'm gonna pop a picture up here. I was showing grandma, so. Um, Anyway, I'm really excited about this box. Uh, it's $24.95, I believe. The first box was $8.95 and then $24.95 each additional box and it comes monthly. Totally worth it this month. So here's, here's inside the box. Okay, so we have a lavender exfoliating foot peeling mask. I don't know if it's like that baby feet, baby feet. I don't know, I've never tried that before, but uh, definitely want to be giving this a try. Um, I sent home all my nail polish remover and a couple nail polishes and stuff like that with grandma. Um, we did her nails, as you probably have seen. Um, and uh, so uh, I need to get some nail polish remover, but I'm gonna play with this polish this week. Okay, so, squirrel. All right, so lavender exfoliating foot peeling mask. Clean your feet with warm water, take out mask, cut apart the seals, wear the foot mask, and seal opening 
buy this sticker. Wait for 60 to 90 minutes to make the essence absorb. Uh, wash both feet with warm water. Dead skin will start peeling in three to seven days after application. Ugh. But I'm not going and getting a pedicure right now. I refuse. I can't do it. I can't even go get my hair cut. I'm like freaked out by it. So, um, and my stylist recently is changing salons right now, so I can't even get a haircut anyway. Nobody else will touch my hair but my dear sweet Patty. Anyway, um, so we're gonna give this a try. We're not cruising, we're not going anywhere. We may as well give this a try, right? So our can, feet can look scaly and peely. <laughs> a little bit. And then it came with this little package. So in here is the little toe separators. Obviously, this month's theme is right here. This month's theme is pedicure. These, um, this is like, it's coarse. This one's pretty coarse. I have one that's not as coarse as this, um, but this is nice after you have filed your nails to kind of go around the edges and smooth things out. These are really very convenient. Um, let's see. This is a very coarse nail file, but uh, for toenails, it's necessary. And then, of course, a cuticle orange stick for cuticle great and then this thing these things are fantastic um it's you've seen these if you've ever had a pedicure it's like it it sloughs off the dead skin um and there's two sides you use it in the bath in the shower these are fantastic especially for in between um your showers i have one uh, they always use it on me at the uh pumice this is but this is like a plasticky pumice it's not the hard kind this is very different than an actual stone so these are great and then our two polishes for the month i love these colors love them so i was watching our cancun vlogs back from 2017 and i realized in there i had this great blue nail polish on matched the bruise because i broke my toe on that trip um and uh i loved it and then here we get this i'm so excited so this first color is Malibu Beach. It's a blue. I love that. That's definitely going on my toes. And then this one is called Over the Pacific. It's a pale blue. I know it's really hard to see. Super duper pale. Maybe it comes through if I put them together. Very light pale blue. I love that. I think it's so pretty. I told you before, I love these polishes. I think they're great. They stay on. I haven't had any chipping. The top coat that we got in the box last month, it's fine, it's fine. But honestly, I use it on my toes because nothing, nothing takes the place of my favorite top coat. Why can I not think of the name? I went to go get it, the Glisten and Glow. Um, I'll leave this linked for you. It's just a link, I, I no affiliate link or anything. It's just a link. Um, I'll also link the, the Lauren B Beauty. Again, no affiliate link. It's just a link to the website. I, buy, I pay for this something I am purchasing um, so and I'm gonna go a couple more months with this uh, Lauren B Beauty kit I think it's great I mean the polishes are 12 12 50 each so you know got the extra stuff in there I think it's fine I think it's a lot of fun so um, now I'm going to take the fuzzies out of this into the box over there for the cats you guys have seen the fuzzies my cats like to play in a the little they love them um, Anyway, so this is a great polish. The top coat, like I said, I'll leave for my toes because you just I just can't beat this. It dries your nails in like five minutes. It's just, it's fantastic stuff. So as soon as I ordered yesterday, because I sent home my nail polish remover and a lot of my nail stuff home with grandma, so she would have it um, at Rob's sister's house so she could do her nails um, while she was there also. And then when grandma comes home here, when she comes to my house, you know, I'll have stuff here that she can use as well. So um, I just wanted her to have something, you know, to take take with her. So she had something at her sister, at her daughter's house. Anyway, um, so that's everything. Those are the two subscription boxes for this vlog. Next vlog, you're gonna see my paper box and my um, mint mongoose and I think a sip spy. All of that's coming, it's all here. Hello, how are you today? It is. Friday, the 17th of J July, 1.10 p.m., 81 degrees outside, and that is only because we have finally had some rain. It has not rained here in three weeks, four weeks. It's been a while. It's been too long. 
I get very grumpy when we've not had any rain. I am in my carnival shirt today with my little um, flip-flop from Key West and my, what are these called? Anchor earrings. Uh, I needed to uh, douse myself in some cruise wear today just because I am missing cruising so much. I know a lot of us are and um, I'm missing travel so much. I miss getting away and you know having time with Rob and things like that. I miss seeing our friends. I miss it. Um, Elliot is who, Elliot and Matt, uh, Elliot's British Life, Elliot and Matt's British Life is who you are hearing in the background. His Flap to Fab is on. This is like my 50th cup of coffee today. Not literally, but probably my... I don't even want to say. Um, my video just went live a little while ago. The How I Keep My Skin Matte. You guys know I am... I have oily skin and um, I struggle keeping my skin matte. I told you about the Mix Easy when it came in. I wanted to give it a good long, give it the old college try <laughs> just to make sure um, I really liked it and I do. I actually really, really like it um, and I was surprised at that. I really was. I wasn't expecting it to have that much of an impact on my skin and it, and it has. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it up here for you. Um, Anyway, um, but on my lips today, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath and the, um, it's a Becca, I think it is, lip liner. I just put the lip liner all over in the Collagen Lip Bath and this is a lips, lip gloss I can actually stand. The Revlon lipsticks that I talked about in that video, the Lustrous Shine, those are another one. They're not sticky. This isn't sticky. What I don't like about lip gloss is stickiness. Now, I typically only like to wear lip gloss when my hair is up because the wind blows or I move or whatever and it sticks in my face. That I can't stand. So, anyway. Um, but today is the day we bring Grandma home. And um, Rob is still at work, so it's gonna be a few more hours, but um, she is coming today and I'm very excited. So I've got a little bit more work to do than I need to run the vacuum through the house. Everything else is fine and uh, get ready for her to come and I'm excited. So I haven't gotten the baking done. We will be able to do that while she's here and I can bake while she's here and um, cook while she's here. For dinner tonight, she wants roasted sweet potatoes. So that's what she's going to have. And um, these days she doesn't eat a whole lot. So um, we keep her supplemented with Boost and with um, her oatmeal for breakfast and blueberries and yogurt. Those are some of her favorites. And so that is what we've picked up for her. All right, I'm gonna go finish my work. I need to make a phone call I don't want to make <laughs> and um, get that done and over with. And then I gotta get the housework done and get ready for grandma. So I'll see you in just a second. Good morning. It is 85 degrees outside. It, it's 9.53 a.m. Saturday, the 18th of July. Um, Rob and grandma are out on a little bit of a walk right now. Um, I'm hoping we can visit with her, you and I, and grandma can visit for a little bit shortly after they get back. Uh, last night was a pretty good night. She did pretty well. She didn't sleep very well, but she did pretty well. Um, she loved her room. She was very excited about her room. I'm going to go make her bed here in just a second. Of course, she's probably already done it. Um, the dogs have been great. The cats have been great. All the boys, the boys in the house. So little dog, Jojo, Grayson, and little bit are all very interested in grandma. They want to snuggle with her. I'm baking her some muffins. They want to snuggle with her. They want to talk to her. They just want to be with her. And grandma is not an animal person. So <laughs> anyway, so that was fun. Every time grandma would get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or something, Grayson would come running. So he slept at the foot of my bed so that he could see her come out of the room. And it's almost like he was just waiting. And she would come out of the room and he would wait. She would get out of the room, she would shut the door, and then she would go into the bathroom. And the second she would get out, turn around, push the walker back through the door, the second he could no longer see the walker, he 
bolted to the door and she'd get it shut just in time for Grayson and he would sort of step up the door and go meow and he would cry because he wanted in there so bad. Oh poor Grayson. He just wants to love grandma. He wants to snuggle with her. All the cats love that room. It's quiet in there and the dogs don't really go in there and they like the couch. That's why they want in there. Anyway. <laughs> Just thought it was funny. So there you go, I have, we've got blueberry muffins on one side <laughs> and cinnamon muffins on the other. I think the cinnamon are the circle ones. So it is, they are from um, the Keto Gatherings cookbook. I said Southern the, the other last vlog, but it's Keto Gatherings. And these are my favorite recipes. Nicole Burgess just posted a recipe, and I'll link the video below, for apple spice muffins. I think I'm gonna modify her recipe, because you guys know I really prefer the recipe to have the oat fiber and the protein powder in it, and hers don't. And I've learned that when they don't have it, I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna modify her recipe with the uh, Keto Gatherings recipe. She has like a wet, dry recipe basic for the different muffins that she uses, so I'm gonna use that, and then use the same spices, and then the topper, the crumble topper topper that um, Nicole used. So I'm just gonna kinda mix the two together, and we're gonna make an apple cinnamon um, cupcake. That won't be in this vlog, because the ingredients, I ordered the ingredients, and they won't be here until next week. I think we're good, let me, let me do the toothpick trick, I'll be right back. stove cover I just take it right out of the oven and right onto the stove cover and it can cool up here it doesn't damage it just love this thing don't mind my dirty stove I was very busy I cooked a big breakfast this morning for everybody and uh, now I need to clean the stove and what else that's enough chit chat for now I'll see you when we're out on the patio and we'll visit with grandma she wants to do her nails today so of course you know I have no problem with that and um, what else I don't know, but she looks super cute. She has a little sailor outfit on. It's got like an anchor on it. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute, and she's like this big, seriously. When I'm taller than her, you know she's, she's this big. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. <laughs> there you are, now you're in focus. So how are you doing? Oh, I forgot to turn on today. You're doing fine? Good, I'm glad. Got all kinds of helpers and company today. Okay. Joe keeping her uh, spot warm. Yeah. Do you want to put a color on or do you just want. I like this one. This one's my favorite. It's just a little bit of glitter. That's the one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you just want the polish off? Just off. Okay, we can do that. And I'll trim, I'll trim your toenails. That way it's a little, they're not as long because you've got some very long toenails there. I wear nothing that shows my feet. Okay. My toes. Alrighty. She has such a little bitty feet. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Or good afternoon, nope, it's still morning. It is, ten oh, I didn't feed the dogs, so I'm gonna say this and then go feed the dogs. It is 10.49 a.m., Tuesday the 21st of July. Um, 77 degrees outside, it is a rainy day. It's not raining that much here, it's quite overcast, um, but in Houston and Galveston and everything, it's very rainy and hopefully that rain will make it here. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, I've got some crazy hair working today. Um, I went for a nice three mile run on the treadmill this morning and then I walked another mile um, and my watch picked up that walk 
and I wish it hadn't because <laughs> now it's messed up my anyway whatever it's fine so today like I talked to you about in either the last vlog or yet I don't know when I talked to you about it but I was looking for the paneer cheese Today, we're going to talk about the channel Serious Keto. He made, well, we're gonna talk about his recipe. He made a new, yes, he made a new tortilla recipe that he calls the best, and it is a pan head dough, pan head dough. Um, and that's what he's calling it. That's what he says this is gonna be called. This is using this paneer cheese, lupin flour, hemp heart, psyllium husk powder, xanthan gum, and salt, water, and lard. Now, I don't have any lard. I wasn't able to find it at the store unless I was willing to buy, you know, the 47 pound tub. That wasn't gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna try it with butter today and hope that it works. Um, but this is the paneer cheese. I found this at Whole Foods. He was able to find it at Costco, and I'm sure during normal times, Paneer cheese might be easy to find at Costco, but again, I found mine at Whole Foods. I believe I would have probably been able to find this maybe at HEB, um, or I couldn't find it at Kroger, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll look for it. Very straightforward recipe. It uses the, the tortilla press. Now he makes bigger tortillas than I'm going to make, and the only reason why is I already own a tortilla press. I didn't wanna buy a second one. A larger one so we're just gonna go with the smaller tortillas that I normally make so you know standard taco size tortillas and uh, I think they're a seven inch or a six inch tortilla he made nine inch or eight inch tortillas so I don't want to make them that big so there we go we're gonna get going on this and I will show you first I'm gonna feed the dogs and then we're gonna get started and I'm just gonna kind of whiz through it very quickly because again this is his recipe so I will link his video in the description box and if I come up with any tips along the way I will let you know but I'm just gonna show you very quickly and also today it's out over there I'm gonna be making my brisket um, it's just a plain old braised bis brisket nothing fancy very bland just onions garlic and water or chicken stock whichever one you have on hand. I usually am trying to use up chicken stock, so I pour the chicken stock in, but water works just as well. Um, or bouillon cube, if you wanna throw that in there. And um, salt and pepper, and that's it. And uh, I'll braise it, because tomorrow is Wednesday, which means tacos, which means I will be having these tortillas and um, tacos. I'm, I'm really excited. These have less than one net carb per tortilla, which means I can eat like three. You guys know I like to eat. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, he wrapped his in plastic wrap to sit out for 20 minutes. One, I don't have plastic wrap. Um, it's not something I use. And two, um, it's not necessary. <laughs> so, to work with this dough, the best way, get your hands wet and form it into the shape you want and then let it sit for 20 minutes. Now while this is sitting, I'm gonna go over and make the brisket after I put everything away. Uh, all the brands, all the ingredients I used, I will have listed in the description box, um, including the xanthan gum, everything you will need for this recipe, I will have for you in the description box. And I will leave for you the um, tortilla press that I have been using since last year um, and I really like it but I will tell you don't skip these little papers I know it, it it's paper it may be a little wasteful but they really are necessary when you're making tortillas this is a very large amount of dough so I'm gonna have to really see how many tortillas this is gonna make right now I feel like I could cut it in half and then cut it into eighths um, yeah or maybe six six to eight so we're gonna have to see how many tortillas we actually get out of this dough. This first time will be a little bit of an experiment. And then as you know, we get better at it. So, and we'll have to compare these to the nomnom.com tortillas. Um, I've had those so many times. I know what they taste like. I really enjoy them. So maybe these will be even better. We will see. Alrighty. So this is in grams. Let's put this on here. So it's 421 grams. I'm gonna be 35 grams. So let's see if we can accomplish that. He used his pastry cutter. I mean, I suppose I could use that, but. So it was just a very light 
white press. Not like we have to do with our nom nom tortillas. Getting better. We'll get there. Just gotta practice. Gotta learn what works with a new recipe. Gonna wash my hands. Do we finish this one? Just a little bit. There we go. So the key to this is a light touch. Okay, this is called a Kamal pan, or a cast iron pan, whatever you want to call it. He just called it a cast iron skillet. Um, this is a traditional tortilla making pan type of pan. Um, However, you don't have to have this pan. I'm sure a nonstick pan will work just fine. This is what he used, so this is what I'm going to use. We're gonna let this pan come up to temp. He used um, a little bit of avocado oil on his, and uh, he said you only needed to do it in the first go around. My pan is not very well seasoned, so we may have to do mine more than once. And uh, he brought his pan up to about 400 degrees, roughly. We're not quite there. So let's let this pan get a little warmer. Uh, for the first side, I, he has a two pan method. I don't have two of these pans. So we're just gonna use one and we're gonna start at about 395, 400 and go up from there. Um, may, mainly because we are going to do a little bit different of a method than he did. He took it off he took it off the, the paper and then onto his hand. We're not going to do that method. We're going to put it on there with the paper attached and then gently pull the paper off, maybe. Yeah, and that's the way we're gonna do it. And it looks like a corn tortilla. Isn't that amazing? I'm very excited about this. And he said to let it cook for a couple of minutes on each side. He didn't show too much detail about the cooking, so um, I'm just gonna guess a little bit here. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna keep on cooking all of these tortillas and then uh, I'll show you tomorrow how we're gonna use them. Of course, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try them. Once I'm done, I'll show you, we'll try them, we'll see what they taste like. So you can see I switched to my nonstick pan. Just found it a bit less cumbersome, a little easier to use. So we're gonna let that cool down. All right, here are my stack of tortillas. I'm gonna let them completely cool before I put them in the fridge. All right, so here is one right here. I messed it up, it kinda twisted over on itself. They're very um, soft, pliable. They smell like just, uh, ugh. It's folded, unfolded here. This is not cooked all the way. I'm gonna go stick this in the pan for a minute. We'll try a different one. Here we go, we'll try this one. This is one of the first ones I rolled out, so it's a little thin. Um, all right, so it tears nicely. Again, it smells nice. I, I did not use the corn extract. I do have it. He said it really didn't make a difference, and it's quite costly, so I didn't use it. Oh. 
it has that chew the psyllium husk will give it. These actually taste like flour tortillas. So I don't see these getting crispy to make like a quesadilla that I love so much, but I think that might be fine. Uh, these might be the new go-to. We will see when we have tacos tomorrow night. My brisket is still cooking. I like that these are less than one net carb. So I can have more of them. I can't help it. I like tacos. I feel like you could make crepes with these. Um, these are very good. Let me get a drink of water here. I am extremely pleased with these. Totally worth the time they take because they do take a little bit more time. I will try them next time with my longer skillet, my longer thing griddle that sits across two pans or two um, burners. But uh, now I can see why he uses the double pan method. Kind of moves a little faster. I don't want to make the investment in a double pan. I just don't want to purchase another pan. So I'll try something else or I'll just take the extra time. Anyway, these are fantastic. I'm gonna leave everything for these listed in the description box. I'm not gonna leave the corn extract. I don't think it's necessary. He said in his video that it doesn't really lend any taste. So I didn't see the point in adding it. I used butter instead of lard. I would imagine these would taste even better if I used lard. These are amazing. I'm gonna leave his video linked for you, all the ingredients linked for you. Uh, these hands down, hands down beat the nomnom.com tortillas. I never thought I would say that. I really didn't, it doesn't taste like cheese. That's the other thing. I don't like fat dough. I'm not a fan of it. It's fine for pizza crust, but it has so many calories and so heavy and dense. And you guys know I like to eat a lot. So fat dough is just not my favorite. This, we're gonna make a pizza crust with this. We're gonna have to figure that out. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't know how we would crisp it up. I don't know. He says this is like the next fat dough. The pan dough is gonna be the next fat dough. I can see that. I can totally see that because this isn't that gooey cheesiness. It doesn't have that in it. It's really, really good. Psyllium husk is proving to be a new ingredient that I really like. Hemp hearts, first time I've ever used them in a recipe. Super pleased. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for tacos. Uh, okay, enough talking. I'll see you in a minute. Everyone's favorite room. <laughs> oh. Morning, it is 1018, Wednesday the 22nd of July. 80, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I did bring in a drink, I do need it. Oh no, no clean straws. I, mean, I gotta clean straws. It's 80 degrees outside. Um, how are you today? I'm gonna make this brief and quick. Um, it is truck day, so I have to go to the office today. So I have on, usually I swim in these shorts, but I have just found that lately it is just so hot outside. I needed something nice and cool to wear. Actually, I actually have a sports bra on. I'm not super comfortable wearing this type of thing out of the house, but everybody does. So I kind of figured, well not everybody, a lot of women, a lot of people do. So I sort of figured maybe I needed to just get over it and see if this is cooler and more comfortable as I'm working today. We will see. Um, and uh, anyway, so we made the, the tortillas yesterday. Today, here they are. I'm gonna make a quesadilla with them. I'll show it to you. You know how to make a quesadilla. I'm gonna make it quick as I can, and that way um, this vlog is already long enough. Okay, so I think in quesadilla, in the case of the quesadilla, um, the nomnom.com tortillas are better. This did not crisp up. I put it in some butter, just like I normally do with a quesadilla, and um, it didn't crisp up, but you know, I'm sure it'll taste just as good. It just doesn't get that little, I like it a little crispy, crunchy. It sure smells good though. I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious and um, it's nice and cheesy. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna add a little sour cream and this is gonna be my lunch today.